The turret urinal. Turret urinal. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say your turtles, but I said turret urinal. Welcome to Upgrade My Stay, the show where me, Kelsey, and me, Becky, check into vacation rentals with the goal of upgrading the stay experience with some DIY, design, and decor. All before checkout. We are fully on a dirt road now. <laughs> this is a dirt road. So today we're heading to Mono, which is like about an hour outside of Toronto, and we're going to Ellen and Joey's yurt. Oh, I'm so excited. A yurt is like a permanent tent. Yes, have you ever been to a yurt before? I haven't. You get kind of like the fun of camping because there's no electricity. Yeah. But it's a bit of a bigger space, so you get the feeling of like being inside. And like you don't have to feel like damp. Yes. It's like good for all seasons kind of thing. Yes. Okay, cool. But just from looking at the rental listing, some of the reviews are like, the year was fantastic, easy to keep warm and very comfy, um, a great getaway, glad we brought extra lamps for lighting cause as it is quite dark. Oh, I guess all you have is a, the fireplace. Yeah, and then like maybe some lanterns. Right. But you know, we're used to like the overhead lighting. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can do something about that. This one says, Helpful tips for packing. Extra kindling from the, your recycling would be helpful as we went in the winter and had the fire going continuously. Okay. So maybe they need a little bit extra storage for like wood and kindling and stuff. Mm -hmm. And of course bring board games. Yeah, everybody loves coming up and visiting the property. Um, so I'm really excited to see it. Okay, I think we actually are getting quite close. They are, oh yeah, they're up here on the left. Yep, this is it. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. Oh, there they are. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi guys. How are you? Good. Good, how are you? Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks for being here. We're so excited. Um, I've never been to a yurt before, I don't think. I have, <laughs> but I have so many questions. How does one own a yurt? Well, you can order them as a kit, or okay. they're not too hard, and you could probably just build one yourself, too, if so you So is yours a kit? This one's a kit. Okay, cool. And how long have you had it here? Uh, since 2006. Okay, a long time. Quite a while. It's a, in good condition. Oh yeah, from the photos it looks very cute. So I guess, tell us a bit about the space. Is there anything that you'd like to change about it or things you love about it? Yeah, yeah, definitely lighting, kitchen area. I think we want a little bit more defined, yeah. uh, a little bit more easy to, to work on, uh, on okay. inside. Um, yeah, a bit better seating kind of stuff, more comfort and coziness. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. so there's no power to the yurt currently, right? That's right. So all the lighting is from the fireplace and lanterns, correct? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So everything we do has to be solar or battery. Exactly. Or fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire. <laughs> Not yeah. too much fire though. <laughs> Not too much fire. <laughs> okay, well I think that we can handle all that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just up here? Okay, we'll go uh, check ourselves in and um, we'll holler if we need anything. Okay. And we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow with a new space. Fantastic. Okay. Awesome. See Thanks, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I smell the fire. Oh, it's going to be so cozy. I can already tell. Oh my gosh, it's like a whole clearing here. What came first, the yurt or the clearing? <laughs> Ooh, this looks nice. Okay. Oh, this is cozy. I love it. Do they even need us? It's bigger than I thought it would be, which is nice. I could stay here. Okay. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Yes, I definitely see what she's saying in that it's not like a huge table to do anything. Like, yeah. You wouldn't really eat at this table. If I had to pick a solution for this, like this wouldn't be it. <laughs> you know? Yes, I see that. What we're gonna do here is hide some of the cooler and trash components with some curtains, and we're going to use visual storage. So we're gonna be hanging some of the pots and kitchen utensils and stuff off of the wall using some S-hooks. This is great for a vacation rental space because then when you have a guest coming in, they don't need to like learn the space, they can just like see. If they want something, it's there on the wall to grab it. Fire, This I feel like this feels like it's taking up a lot of space. And it doesn't even fit, like this basket is tipped already, the wood isn't all in there, and I feel like if you've ever been camping, this is like an hour's worth of wood. Yeah, it can be, right? <laughs> Depending. Um, okay, so maybe we can address that. Mm -hmm. um, they talked about dining and seating. 
Yes. I don't know if this is meant to be the dining table or just like a seating area. I think it's both. In a space this size, this is both? Yes. This either becomes seating or table. Yes. I think you need to give, one. it's one or the other. You either have big comfy chairs or you have like a table to eat at. So we're actually gonna try a couple different things. We have some comfy chairs that would work as the comfy option, but we're also brought like a table and stools if you wanna have somebody actually sit here and eat a dinner. So we're gonna try out those options because I'm not quite sure yet which one's gonna work. Okay, we'll test stuff out later. What do you think about the bed layout? Okay, so we feel like the layout of the beds currently is a little bit awkward, so we wanna move them so that each bed is under a window. I feel like it will anchor it a little better. And then if we use some pillows, perhaps a DIY pillow, it can help to give this kind of headboard effect underneath the windows. I really do like this circle table that Me they're too. Saying. So I'm glad that we don't have to change that. And then they do have this mirror, which I think mirrors are so important. It's giving me a little bit of college, college dorm. dorm vibes. Jinx. So maybe something bigger would be great. And then they've got that kind of wicker shelf system, but even if we could bring in different or more storage, because when you're coming, you probably have a suitcase of stuff. You yeah. wanna like put it somewhere. Like where do you put it? You don't really. <laughs> P.S. you don't, okay, so. Storage, trunk, great. I am noticing the lanterns scattered around, which there are some, but again, they've just asked for even more lighting, so. I think hanging some string lights and getting it up to really light the ceiling at night is gonna do a lot for brightening up the space. And, I mean, I think that's the major things we gotta tackle here. Yeah. Let's get to it. Let's take out things that aren't gonna stay. Bye-bye. See ya. Simple but cute. Yeah. Love. Well, that's what she wanted, right? It was like simple pieces in the space, but yeah. were actually very useful. Four of them, right, we have? Yeah, we have four of these. So this would be option A, which we could like tuck them underneath when they're not in use, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, or we have those chairs, which I think once you see them, they're like the perfect color to the yurt already. Okay, let's, let's bring them in and then potentially this table could replace the little one over there. Or could it add to it? It could. Let's just move this out of the way and bring those chairs in and see how we feel about that. That might work. They're like kind of different ones, but like whatever. So let's move this out of the way and bring those chairs. <laughs> Sorry, I was like thinking about it. I was like, hold on, I have a good idea. That no, was good. I'm like a video game character who can only say the same line. Right, 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 right. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and <laughs> bring the chairs in. Oh my god, oh my god. Can you believe these chairs though? Like the color of the fabric and the wood is like this color scheme. I think I love this too much to... To not use them? To not use them. Well, and that solves her ask of comfier seating because sit, these are comfy. Yep. Why don't we just play around with that side and see if we can make that work? If we can make that work, then I think it'd be nice to keep these chairs here, obviously. I agree. They're so cute. It's literally, I'm, I was sold as soon as I saw the color scheme. Like, I was like, do we need chairs? We're not sure, we're not sure. And then you see them here and it's like, we do need the chairs. These came with the yurt. Literally. <laughs> they okay. came in the yurt kit. Okay, let's make this table work. Okay. Okay, so if we want to use this table over here, how do we make that work? This, we need like a kitchen prep area. Mm -hmm but also dining table. So. Okay. Okay. Let me try this here. Yes. I think that's the move because then it doesn't take up door space. Mm-hmm. And then what if it was just over here? Mm-hmm. And then we have our little stools. Mm-hmm. You know what, I like that. I think it works. I think it makes sense. It does make sense. We have a bunch of great hooks that we can hang all like the cooking stuff up here above this area. Yeah. I'm yeah. feeling good. Let's uh, bring that all together then. Okay. okay. have a ticket for the long way home? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have 
These ones or these ones? I think the, ooh. We have red plates and stuff, but like, do we want it to be too matchy matchy? I don't know. Are we doing red anywhere else? Uh, there's like some red in the, sh in the, in the, yeah. Pillows and like bedding and stuff. Oh, okay, then I like the red. Kick okay, chill. But the only problem is we don't, I don't know the best. Kind of running out of hooks. Is that, where's that twine go? Well, nowhere. It was from the lantern that we took down. So we don't oh. need it anymore. Can we use that twine and then like make like a little hook system? Oh, out of S hooks. S hooks. I like that. That's a good DIY option. We could like have them all kind of in a row. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cups in a row. <laughs> like your ducks? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's cut this a little bit. I love being resourceful. I feel like I'm camping. <laughs> I need to remember all my camping knots. Okay, so now we tie this just like that. Yeah? Sick. So freaking genius. Yeah, cute, resourceful. resourceful. Chic, DIY. Give me more words. <laughs> more clickbait words. Well, <laughs> not clickbait, because it's accurate. <laughs> okay, two. <laughs> That's cute. I love that. Yeah, we're already in such a tight space. So it's smart to get the most use out of the walls, right? So that all the countertops are free for what other things you need. That's the hack is if you are low on space, you gotta use your walls. We got a lot of walls. I actually think we're hanging more things in this makeover. Stay before we're done. Stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Can't wait. And subscribe. Love that. Vertical yurt storage <laughs> on my Pinterest. Yeah. All right, we're finishing up the last of the kitchen stuff. We have some bowls and some plates we can bring out and set on that table. And then lastly, we're actually gonna hang a curtain around the bottom of the table. That way it'll conceal the larger items under there like the cooler and the recycling bin. Okay, this can go here. We're bringing in this side table tray that was beside the bed. And we're also bringing in a firewood stand that matches the one that they already have. Is there perhaps a, a hike we can do? Maybe. Outside the yurt? The Bruce Trail. Ooh. Okay, so that firewood holder needs to be filled with firewood. Yeah, I think that's just nice to keep some stuff dry inside. Cause like you could use that up in like a day. I don't know. Less for Dep sure. Depends how much cooking <laughs> you're doing. So I think it's good to have like some more inside that's dry in case it is like snowy or rainy out. So let's go find some wood. I do think I saw a wheelbarrow on the way. Oh. We could use that perhaps. Okay, let's use that. I feel like we should cut some wood. I don't know if those pieces are small enough, are they? Hmm? Well, this is our wheelbarrow. Chop me some wood, baby. I've never chopped, I don't think I've ever chopped wood. It's it's like golf. What? Is it? I don't know. I You're suck at golf. Oh, it's not good then. <laughs> it's like axe throwing, but don't let go. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Okay. Ready? Cause I'm not. What do you think I do? Behind your head. Oh my God, I feel like I'm... And then... I'm Rose and you're Jack. What? Titanic. When do they chop wood in Titanic? When he's on the... He's handcuffed to the... Oh, I've not seen that movie in a while, I guess. He, she like took practice swings. Okay. It's like the best movie ever. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, ready? Yep. This is not gonna go. I can feel it not going well. I mean! I literally didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. How do you chop one?
I just do like little chops. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me try this babier one. I feel good. I need my words of affirmation. It doesn't help that your, your uh, platform's crooked. Okay, give it everything. Okay, and then we do this. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I'm breaking the stump. <laughs> when you split your stump instead of the one you're trying to chop. I think you are getting somewhere. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I did it. Lost a foot, but yeah, babes. Yeah, babe. Ah. <laughs> Load me up. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that's the cleanest cut I ever did see. Required. Would you do the honors and bring it inside? I would. <laughs> it is cold in here. Oh, I think our fire went out. No. Good thing we got more wood. So should I try and get that fire started again? Yes, please. Would you like some tea? I would. Okay, also look at this. I can pick it up because our fireplace is not hot enough. It's a turtle. It's a turtle and it lives in a yurt. And it's Yurtle the turtle. Yurtle the yurt turtle. Turtle who oh lives in the yurt. Good. I love him. Our mascot. Yes, absolutely. The turt yurtle. Turt yurtle. <laughs> turt. 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 I meant to say yurt turtle, but I said turt yurtle. <laughs> I didn't even catch it. Even better. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get water. <laughs> so while our water boils for the tea, we're gonna get to setting up the lights because the day is actually ending, the sun is setting, and I don't want to be stuck in the dark. We're gonna be stringing these long strands of battery-operated lights around the walls of the yurt and kind of up on the ceiling, and hopefully it does something to combat the darkness. The fun thing about these lights is they're actually remote controlled so you can be in bed, about to go to sleep, and switch off your lights so you don't have to get up and walk around and flick a bunch of switches. Okay, this is looking good. I think, it, I think it'll get off with good light. Yeah. If anything, it's just a mood. <laughs> it's vibey in here. <laughs> um, Do you think you can reach the second ring? <laughs> like, no. Unless it's deceiving. Oh! Oh, it's very close. That's frustrating. That's not gonna work. Get another ladder? Yeah. Yeah. The horses have been fed and watered. How's our tea? Yurtle is ready. I just I need like an of glove, you know? <laughs> okay, this is Joey's Cho escarpment gardens. Chocolate peppermint. I am excited. Oh, I was should have served you first. I apologize. How rude. How rude. How about this? You did serve me first. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to a good day. It's looking very, very cozy in here already, and we're not even done half the things we want to do. We literally did like half of the things. Literally. <laughs> half. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Be a good day. That's good. Mm. Good tea. Good night, Yertle. Good night, Becky. Let's see a trick. Okay, my sister was the figure skater, not me. But one leg. 
What's it called? Triple sow cow. There's the one. Sheep, it's a shooting head. duck, and you Shoot. like go like this. Okay, this is what I can do. Tens, tens, tens across the board. This is beautiful. Where's your skates? I didn't bring them. I didn't read the rental listing and said this was an option. I read it and I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I bring my skates. Why don't we uh, get back to beautifying the yurt? But I can't appreciate the yurt if I don't appreciate the nature around the yurt, you know? So yesterday we got the right side completed. Mm -hmm. So now today it's kind of like the bedroom area. Yeah, all the bedroom stuff. And then final touches. Ooh, I'm excited. And then Ellen and Joey get their new yurt back. Okay, so we have this trunk here. Yes, this is vintage and like beautiful and actually very functional because people can like put a suitcase on it and open it, or put stuff in it. And also, it's a helpful because it has our next DIY in it. That's right. Okay, curtains. I think we only need to do curtains above each bed because it's like a nice anchor. You don't need to do all the windows. And there. They already have a problem with it being too dark. Not too bright. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. It's like kind of a style thing, you know? A little bit of aesthetic never hurt nobody. <laughs> I need that on a shirt. <laughs> okay, so this, yeah. And then we're gonna bring back a mirror, but this is gonna be bigger. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll see where this wants to go. It could be a side table, it could be a little center moment. Mm -hmm. But let's make these curtains. Yes. For these curtains, we have some panels pre-made that have a little tube in the top and we're just going to string through some dowels that are cut to size. And then we're taking some C hooks that we just need to widen a little bit so that the dowel can fit nicely in it. And then we're going to just screw in these C hooks to the wood lattice portion of the yurt. All right, tell me where centered is. Like can here? you go to the right? Like, I can go here. No, no like less to the right. Oh, it's because of the wood? You don't have I can go here or I can go here, what should I do? Neither. Neither? Well, they're not centered. It's cause of the wood. What yeah. if I go higher, does that fix it? No. No. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work then cause I have to be touching wood. I can't screw this into the fabric. I know. Should we think of a backup plan? I have an idea. Tell me, tell it to me. So what if we do, instead of drilling C hooks into the wood, we hang twine off of that top wire um, and then just like drill the twine into the edge. Or you can even like hang it off screws. Yeah, hang it off screws that go into the dowel. And then you're hanging it off of the wire instead of drilling into the wood and then you don't have to line it up. That'll work. Okay, I think, I think there's twine in the truck. Yeah, all right. So to solve this problem, what we're actually gonna do is drill some screws into the sides of the dowels and then just use some twine to make two little loops. One's gonna go over the aircraft wire around the edge of the yurt and one's gonna go around the screw that's on the dowel. Then it can just hang there. And then to keep the curtains up when they're not in use, we're going to be using some thrifted belts to secure the extra material. Okay. This big floor length mirror yeah. is gonna get hung, which will really bring this space together. Got some hooks to hang it from. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good. That's perfect. That's sick. And you like don't even really see the wire, not really. It's a floating mirror. All right, now that the mirror is hung, checkout time is fast approaching, so I think Kelsey and I are gonna divide and conquer for these next parts. She's gonna make a DIY pillow headboard, and I'm gonna work on swapping out the bedding. Instead of just swapping out the comforter and replacing it with something entirely new, what we did was picked up these duvet covers in this beautiful kind of rusty red color and then use the existing comforter as a duvet insert. So I'm actually doing a really cool hack to make this pillow. I'm taking a woven runner and then fold it in half lengthwise. From there, I'm gonna sew up two of the sides and then go ahead and stuff it before sewing up the last side. <laughs> oh my gosh, this Isn't, is cute. It's cool, eh? Oh wow, and that's the perfect size. I freaking want one. Okay, all that's left is like 
the little final touches. Final touches. I imagine them as like glittery sprinkle sounds in my head. Oh, like raindrops? Yeah, I don't know. Do okay, Wait, let's make it rain. <laughs> final touches. <laughs> So right by the front entranceway, we're replacing their coat rack with some coat hooks. It's just as functional for holding coats, but it actually saves a lot of floor space and makes the place feel a lot more open. On those chairs that we brought in, we added a green accent pillow to match the curtains that we added and also brought in one of their blankets. So around their center coffee table, which we know they wanted to keep and we love it too, we're just adding some extra floor poofs, which are durable but work as extra seating as well. Beside the bed, we added hooks so that we could hang the lanterns close by to the bed. To complete the bedding, we're actually using a lot of pillows and blankets that they already owned, but we just made sure that the decor we were buying had similar colors so that it pulls it all together. And of course, we're gonna have a roaring fire for when we reveal to Joey and Ellen. They're coming. They're Wait, hold on. Back, like literally right now. There's still yurt on the floor. <laughs> oh no. There's so much yurt. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. It's so yurty. Sweet the yurt. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's save them from this rain. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on into your new yurt. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. I love that table. Wow. stay here <laughs> yes you may stay here every oh my gosh night. i'm so excited yeah let's <laughs> just beautiful. move here and then you guys can design our home and then we'll stay here <laughs> good trade good trade yeah i love those cushions yeah yes. so we really awesome. tried to take into account the needs of the space and what you guys wanted while also keeping your style in mind too it's perfect <laughs> So we used a lot of pieces that you guys already had and then brought in some new pieces, like the trunk for some extra storage. Yeah. If somebody's here, they have somewhere to like put their bags or a suitcase or whatever it might be. And then you had asked for maybe more comfier seating. So we have two big plush armchairs, which actually are the exact colors of the walls. Yeah. And they work oh, so beautifully. It's so cozy. It's, I love the layout of it. It's amazing. <laughs> I wouldn't, I didn't even think about this layout and it's perfect. And there's still a lot of space. And um, like this is perfect, this little sitting area. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's oh. awesome. Yeah, I think and things firewood, are still- Firewood, lots of firewood. Yeah, yes. that was Storage. something we figured is that we know that it can go pretty quickly and you guys had the one, so we kind of have a matching one now. Yeah, and the window coverings yeah, are window amazing. Coverings are, are yeah. really, so really perfect. Nice. Wow. So what we thought idea. that the beds under the, the windows just made a lot of sense mm -hmm. as like a, a natural headboard. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Oh, I think we saw something to show them. Yes, yeah, so you mentioned lighting being an issue. So without plugs, we did the best that we could. We have battery operated lights, which actually the best thing is that they're remote operated. Oh, wow. Just kind of oh, have to point them hey, to the battery. Yeah. Oh, wow. There you go. <laughs> wow. It's hard to tell when it's still kind of daylight here, but when we were here when it was later, it really does make a big difference. Yeah. And they're just like a nice light glow. So you've got so much seating options now too. There's the big chairs, like you'd mentioned, the floor poofs around the table, which you didn't want us to touch the table, and we loved it too, so we kept it. I love the round rug also. Yeah, yeah. it's perfect. And the, the bedding is so nice too. Yeah, I think it works right nicely with the colored blankets that you guys already had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the hooks on the walls are for oh, yeah. and got the nice recycling. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, you had the uh, coat, rack, coat, rack, coat rack, which could did take up down. some. Exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah, I it noticed that. Down on me. <laughs> That's we true. did notice that, so I think this works a little bit better. Okay. Again, just using our walls wherever we can. It take, yeah, and then it creates more space exactly. you know, to walk around into, which is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm so Thanks. excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're so welcome. Oh. Thank you. I will leave you with the remote to the lights. <laughs> Thank you. And we will head out. But thanks so much, guys. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I'm so glad they loved it though. Me too. I they're they're quiet spoken individuals, so I was like nervous, but but I think what they said was super meaningful. Yeah, I think the fact that we kind of understood their style and their 
vision for the space. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. All right, back to the city we go for the next one. We're gonna have to take this puppy for a car wash. <laughs>